Anybody here that doesn't speak German? No problem. That's why our slides are in English. Uh, yeah. Sadly, like all good things, this FrostCon has to end. So, I won't sing, I promise. Um, but uh, one, one, one thing, is everybody here? Because then I go and lock the doors. Uh, just kidding, it's, uh, some, somebody will probably understand it and the others should watch the talk that was in room. Uh, well, don't watch it. Don't, don't watch it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, as far as I know, uh, as, a, as a side note, uh, all the uh, talks before the lunch break are already released. Probably they are even uh, even more by now. So yesterday all talks were be released by half past eight. So if you missed some talks, you can watch them at home uh, on, on media CCCDE or frostcon.tv, which is media CCCDE. Or uh, even YouTube since this like year. It. And um, the most important number usually is uh, the number of participants. And we actually grew this year. So around 200 people more. It's, there's always some kind of magic in creating these numbers. But uh, <laughs> since I'm doing the magic for the last couple of years, I'm pretty certain that we are more. <laughs> Then uh, the most important things about those closing uh, events are statistics. So first drinks. Vogue. Das ist immer irgendwie VGA. Das ist VGA so ein bisschen albern war. Uh, okay. One second, we try other things. Was this playboard? Tap this playboard. Ah. This playboard? Yeah, this He's one of the guys who's uh, responsible. <laughs> He's one of the guys who's responsible to that you have all the videos available already. So give him a round of applause. Better? No, I talked to them just now. So, uh, you drank 100 liters more of Club Mate this year. No, you. Yeah. And yesterday you consumed 300 liters of beer. Um, the great coffee booth at the end of the uh, Hochschulstraße, the hallway, uh, produced coffee from eight kilograms. No correction. Eight kilograms today. Yesterday, ten. Oh, so 18. <laughs> 18 kilograms of coffee in the last two days, and they used 110 liters of milk. So you like your coffee, I assume. Um, some more statistics. Network. We had only 600 peak concurrent Wi-Fi clients. In this crowd, I would assume everybody has like at least two devices, but probably the talks were that good, so you didn't use them. There was Wi-Fi. As a side note, we don't have Wi-Fi in the lecture halls because of reasons. So it's only outside. So it, it, we can't do anything about the, 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 the Wi-Fi in the lecture rooms. We know it's terrible, but the powers uh, that be have decided that students shouldn't uh, use Wi-Fi equipment during lectures, probably. So this, we, we can't really get network inside, so otherwise we would provide you with Wi-Fi sets. But this may be changed. They even build us, uh, for next year, they build us two new lecture rooms. So for FrostCon 10, uh, we have new lecture rooms and perfect timing, you know. Um, yeah, um, we talked to the Freifunk guys. They put up their own little network. Uh, they had, uh, at peak times, uh, 270 clients. Um, 
as we told, the, the streaming and had uh, 69 people were viewing FrostCon from home, the beach, or wherever they were. We collected three terabytes of data while recording the talks, which equals 60 and a half hours of video. So that's like, if, you, if, you, if you're into binge watching, that's more than a weekend. We had some infrastructure to provide everybody with power and network. We um, put up like two and a half kilometers of cable. And that's a lot of copper there. Uh, we had uh, 13 distribution, power distribution boxes. And we noticed that uh, when we go to the list of stuff we borrowed, that from the university we borrowed 42 power strips. This number has not been altered. We promise. Well, as usual, it's, it's time to say thank you. And uh, the most important thing, people to say thank you, the guys that ran around in the, in the green shirts. Um, 580 hours. 580 hours of work have been done this, this weekend by them. And It's, it's amazing. Uh, we don't know what we would do without you. Thank you very much. And we had like uh, about 70, so you can do your own math about how stressed some of these people were. Yeah, so uh, if you liked it here and want to contribute next year, just sign up and we will find some really fun jobs for you. No irony. Then. We, we, uh, they, they fit on the slide, I was, we were not sure, but it did. Um, we thank, like I said, the Department of Computer Science of the University of Applied Science of bonn bon <laughs> <laughs> uh, Presented here by Mr. Klewitz. Thank you very much for um, hosting us like for, for nine years now and making sure that the university and the powers uh, that are uh, still let us do this for the next time for the 10 year anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, this uh, kind of event doesn't come for free and doesn't come cheap. So um, this is only a, a selection of our sponsors. Uh, there are many more. Buy their stuff, they are great. <laughs> uh, uh, more importantly, most of them are looking for, for people. So if you're out of a job or... In between. Uh, in between jobs or just like looking for a change. Or bored, <laughs> talk to them. They, they, they sometimes have really interesting stuff to do. I think almost all of the guys you can see on there are currently hiring and most of the other sponsors are also hiring, so. Yeah. Okay. Some more people to thank. The POC, um, those are the guys that provide us with the nice phones, which I already gave back. So that uh, without them, this wasn't, uh, wouldn't be possible because uh, you have to run around for, to communicate with everybody. And uh, thank you very much. I think they are already tearing down their equipment, so they're not here this year. Um, the walk with the other guys that provided us with the recording of all the talks. Yeah, and... <laughs> they are getting better every year, as I told you before. Um, the Raumzeitlabor provided our speakers and helpers with nice uh, uh, towels with a Frostcon logo on it. And... Hmm? And they were generally pretty entertaining and have like some very fun crafty stuff that you can do at the end of the hallway. Well, not anymore, but next time. Um, I talked to our medics and firefighters, with, which did an awesome job. They told me it was pretty quiet, just the usual cut and somebody who thought his hand was a steak at the grill. But uh, nothing, nothing major happened. So... Do you still remember what the next slide was? <laughs> um, uh, Let's see. 
Yeah. Uh, when all is done and uh, the uh, university is ready to be given back mm -hmm. to their normal occupants, uh, we like to meet up uh, and get drunk. And uh, we like to all invite you all to the Voyager, it's a little pub in, in Bonn, uh, and have a drink with us. And it starts at around eight. Uh, some of us will be there earlier and the rest will come when we are finished, hopefully soon. So the point you have to take away from this, if you're there at eight and there's not a lot of people there, you're not helping getting us, tearing this down, so please stay here and help. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, as, as usual, uh, if you want to give us a hand, there are people in blue shirts like Martin. Um, go to him, just ask him, how can I help? And if many people uh, join him, it will be done in, in like no time. And um, many people uh, are involved at the weekend making this happen. But uh, there are people that have been working for FrostCon for over eight months, nine months, uh, meeting regularly, and I'd like to uh, ask them to come to the front so they can show. Nicht hinter dem Zoli verstecken, nicht hinter dem Zoli verstecken. <laughs> it's, there are more every year, so if you're, if you're interested, uh, sign up for our newsletter. Um, as usual, uh, I think in September we are all, um, we don't want to talk about first one, uh, first one we don't want to think about, we, we, we don't want to do any conferencing, but I think in, in October or November there will be a kickoff meeting for next year and as I told earlier, next year is our 10th anniversary. We are looking for great features, great ideas, content. great content. If you, ha if you have somebody who's, you, who you think that guy should talk at FrostCon 10, send us an email. Yeah, send us email. Give us feedback. Send us an email to feedback at frostcon.de. Or both should work, I think. They should, yeah. And yeah, uh, thank you for making FrostCon 2014 a great event. And uh, don't forget to help us tear down this wall. This wall, yeah. <laughs> And see you all next uh, later on at the after show party or next year at Frost Content. <laughs>